Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and we have dining reservations at the Garden Grill restaurant. This is a character dining experience with Mickey Mouse, Chip and Dale, and it's actually in a rotating restaurant. So as you're eating dinner and hanging out with characters, you're constantly moving around. And I love that. So I figured I'd come out, we'd eat some food, ride some rides, and enjoy an evening at Epcot. Anywho's, let's go do this. The last time that I ate at this restaurant, they were doing the social distance like character dining. So you really couldn't meet the characters. They were kind of like a distance away, but now they're gonna be able to come right up to your table, I believe. So I'm excited to see it change a little bit, especially because I wanna meet Chip and Dale. A lot of people are talking about the new Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie and I watched it and I kind of liked it but you guys let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments below and uh, after watching it it kind of inspired me to come out and meet Chippendale and I think this is the only character dining experience with them in it. I know they're doing meet and greets at Magic Kingdom but I figured hey why not do like a character dining video. We have some time before it's our reservation at the Garden Grill, so I figured maybe we'd ride some rides and just enjoy the park a little bit. It's a beautiful day out right now. It's only 91 degrees out. The humidity is not too high, and I like it. And I don't think I see any rain incoming, so might have uh, clear blue skies for the day. I feel like the whole month of May has been pretty much very rainy and very humid. So like to have a nice clear day today with low humidity, I feel great and I'm happy to be at Epcot. Garden Grill is located in the land and one of the things I always like to do whenever I come and I'm going to be eating at Garden Grill is ride the land because they actually harvest some of the food from the attraction. So you get to eat some of the food from the attraction, the land, while you're dining at Garden Grill and I think we'll stay true to that and make it a tradition. I have tons of Disney traditions, whether it be riding the land before eating at Garden Grill, or starting in Mexico first, or even always eating ears first on anything Mickey shaped. I feel like it's important to have those because they make things feel like more magical. They, they make things feel better. So let me know if you guys have any really awesome Disney traditions. And like I said, we're gonna stay true to that one today and we're gonna go ride the land. Another thing I want to point out about the land itself, if you time things right and say it's a very hot day or there's a thunderstorm happening, you come into the land, you can keep yourself occupied in here for hours technically because you have three different attractions. You have Soren, you have Living with the Land, you have Awesome Planet, and then also if you end up getting dinner at Garden Grill, I mean this can keep you busy while you're indoors for quite a bit. I am super excited to actually dine at Garden Grill though. It is a really awesome dining experience. We'll go over the details uh, once we get over there, like the, the prices, the menu and everything like that. Now it is all you care to enjoy. And like I said before, we're gonna go ride living with the land because they harvest some of the vegetables and I think even the salad from the attraction. So it's, like I said, a tradition. It looks like it's only a 10 minute wait for the land, so that's also good news too. It's kind of funny that living with the land is a 10 minute wait because sometimes it's a complete walk on and then sometimes there just seems to be a lot of people waiting to ride the ride. That's the restaurant we're going to be eating at later. You can actually see Mickey Mouse and Pluto meeting guests up there. So it's going to be so cool to be able to look down at the ride. And this little special house right here. It is such a beautiful day out. I love coming through here when it's nice, sunny, and bright. All parts of this plant, even the flower petal, are edible. The starchy fruit of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Who knows, maybe we'll be eating some corn from uh, living with the land down when we get to Garden Grill. I would assume the corn that's in the succotash is right there maybe. I mean, you never know actually. 
They have a lot of other stuff too. They have fig, they have canola, extremely hot pepper, Carolina Reapers right there. Restaurants here at the land every year. They just said that they serve 15 tons of produce in the restaurants here at the land. 15 tons. And look, this is the first time I've ever seen anybody actually out here gardening. Or maybe she's just guarding the cucumber plants. They include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Well, that was a lot of fun. I always like riding, living with the land. And it was cool to see actually a little behind the scenes there because somebody was taking care of the cucumber plants. And I would love to do the behind the seeds tour, which they're not doing right now. But as soon as it comes back, I think I'm going to book it. I mean, how cool would it be to actually go walk around inside the attraction or in the greenhouse and they actually show you everything? They show you how they make like the uh, Mickey shaped uh, vegetables and fruits. Like, isn't that so cool? I want to do this. So hopefully they bring it back soon. Now it's time to head back upstairs and check in for a reservation at Garden Grill. And here it is. Garden Grill Restaurant, Chippendale's Harvest Feast. Look, I like how they have Chippendale on top right here. Very, very fancy. And then down here you can see a little bit more about the restaurants. It's $36 for guests uh, three to nine and then $55 for guests 10 and over. And it comes with a harvest inspired garden salad, grilled beef chimichurri, sliced turkey breast, seasonal vegetables, stuffing, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, and then the berry shortcake with whipped cream, which is my favorite thing. Like, this is so good. And it's all you care to enjoy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna dive in. See if we can check in a little bit early. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the restaurant itself is rotating. And it rotates like one whole rotation every hour. And it's not that fast. You don't feel like you're moving at all. I'll try to show you a little bit before we actually go in. But, uh, you know, we're just going to be casually dining and rotating around and seeing different scenery. And it's tough to put like a speed on it, but it's one full rotation per hour. You can see right here in the corner that it's rotating and it, it rotates really, really slow. And this is where you like sit down and dine. And I'm just trying to show you where the rotation starts. You, you kind of walk right on and it just goes like this. And here is our table, and look at that. We have a hidden Mickey as soon as we uh, get to the table. It's just me, but I think they don't have the uh, two top tables open yet, so we got this whole big booth just to ourselves. I love the fact that we had like a little hidden Mickey there, and I'm pretty sure Mickey is showing up right now. <laughs> Hi, pal. I just got here now. Oh, well, thank you. I'm ready to eat. I'm so excited. Did you get some good uh, vegetables from the garden? Yeah? Oh yeah, he's been working hard. That's the way. <laughs> oh, thank you, pal. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty excited. Like, as soon as we walk in, Mickey, and then, oh my lord, look at this. The fun just continues. <laughs> thank you. Oh, can we do a photo? <laughs> I'm laughing so much. It's non-stop. I've only been here for like 10 seconds and it's just so much fun. But we are at our table, like I said. We're starting to rotate and actually go through living with the land, like I showed you before. And uh, pretty soon it's time to uh, order our drinks. Like I said, it's $55. Everything is included though, uh, including your drink. Uh, everything except for uh, specialty cocktails and beer. So I think I'll get an Arnold Palmer and then they're just gonna bring out the food as it comes. We've already seen Chip and Mickey. So we still got to see Dale and Pluto and we're gonna see them so many more times though because it looks like they're just rolling right through. And it's really awesome to have them come back up to the table and Mickey's like going in for the hug and it's, it's, it's good, it's good to be back. First things first, we got the Harvest Inspired Garden Salad. Now, some of this has come from the land. They've got some cucumbers in there and tomatoes and then the lettuce. And then also we've got a nice little bread service as well. And they gave me, this is all for me. Like I know they have different like sizes and stuff like that, but wow, that's a lot. And also kudos to uh, my, the cast member, Sam, because he brought me two 
Arnold Palmer's and that is awesome. Anytime you get two drinks at like a sit down restaurant, they know you're gonna drink it fast. And I like how they put them in mason jars. Like I said, since I'm not sharing it with anybody, it's just me, I'm gonna eat this salad right out of the salad bowl. But look at this, it's a big bowl. Uh, and we're gonna try the dinner rolls. Now the dinner rolls are kind of just like generic like regular dinner rolls, nothing really fancy with them. Either with the butter too, nothing nothing like too crazy, but you gotta try them at least. The salad itself comes with a herb vinaigrette uh, dressing, and we're just gonna grab a big, a big, a forkful, a big forkful, I almost said a spoonful, a spoonful of salad. And we're actually coming up on the mighty hooves of the buffalo scene, so we're gonna have to eat this lettuce quick. I love the fact that we're rotating around an attraction. So watch, look, we're gonna come over here and here's the part of living with the land where they're in the mighty hooves of the buffalo. And a fun fact, did you know that this sun turns into a moon? Well, right now the moon is turning into a sun. If you just look at it long enough, either from here or while you're riding the ride, you'll see it changes color. So we'll just give it a second here. Isn't that so cool? A lot of people don't know it, but I love it. This vinaigrette dressing is actually pretty decent. I like it a lot. I'm, I, I only like vinaigrette dressings or citrus dressings. I don't like cream-based ones, so I don't like ranch or like uh, blue cheese or anything like that. So it's right up my alley. There he is. I was waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, you all ready? Camera ready? That's the way, very excited. I've already seen Chip, so I was like, oh, any second now. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks for having me. I'm excited to try some food. Did you get? Did you pick a lot from the harvest? Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you? Oh, you're baking? You're, yeah. Wow, very fancy. Well, can we do a photo? Yeah? All right, I'm on it. Pluto just stared away, Chip. Pluto's here. I love it. And I like the whiskers, oh yeah, look at them. Very springy, very, very good. <laughs> I love it. Are you excited, I'm gonna have some food? I know, isn't it beautiful out there? I know, Gracie loves coming here. I have a dog named Gracie. Yeah, yeah, oh, you like my hat? I love it. Pluto, you're always the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was great. I know. Are you hungry? You want to sit down? You can, you can join me. Oh yeah, I feel ya. <laughs> well, thanks Pluto. <laughs> I love actually dining here. It is so amazing. The characters are so friendly and the food just keeps on coming. Now, we, we barely dove into the salad and now here comes uh, the whole entire entree and look at how much food we get. This is just much too good. We've got the beef with the chimichurri, which is so good. And then we've got a nice corn, lima bean, pea medley here, some stuffing, some turkey and gravy, some creamy mashed potatoes, green beans, and then mac and cheese. They add the mac and cheese in there too, so there's a lot to take in. And if you like here with a family, of course they have bigger and bigger skillets, but it's just me, so the perfect amount, and we're gonna dive right on in. First things first, let's dive into a little turkey and stuffing. I like the gravy too, look. It's like the perfect little size too. And we gotta get it all in one bite. Stuffing and uh, turkey just go together in one bite always. But here we go. Mmm. That's good. Now I wanna try the mashed potatoes on their own because they look so creamy. Look at that. I love some mashed potatoes. Some scoop seed potatoes. We're also coming up on the house from living with the land. And it's so cool because you get a special perspective from up here. You get to see inside the house. So I definitely want to show you that. But first, mashed potatoes. Honestly, this is a really, really good meal. And it's a little bit unique because of everything that they offer. And I love this little chimichurri sauce on here. I definitely like to come here. I brought my mom and sister here and they liked it here a lot as well. The steak is cooked perfectly to how I like it, but if you do want it cooked a little bit more, I know they can't cook it for you, but this right here is one of my favorite things on the menu. It is so good. 
and all these fresh vegetables from living with the land is so amazing look at that perfect a nice little bite with a little bit of everything on there the harvest from living with the land is a very sought after item people jump out of boats just to get it so uh, it's cool that you get to come here and just try it on your own oh but look we're coming up on the house for living with the land like I said you can actually see the ride going by right here I'll get up and show you guys for a second look at this isn't it so cool you can see the chickens there and once we get over here you can actually see inside the house and I'm so excited to show you here comes one of the boats right now this is so awesome to me I get so excited about it just a couple minutes ago that was us we were actually riding this and I was looking back up now we can see people and wave at them hi <laughs> there it is my future home if I could live anywhere in Disney I think I would want to live right here <laughs> how cool would that be and it has a bed and everything you can actually look right inside the window here yeah isn't that so cool I'm gonna try to zoom in in a second so I can show you guys a little bit better but that is amazing I think I'm just gonna call it quits on dinner now and jump straight to dessert because that is my favorite thing I mean I love the steak with the chimichurri like that's probably my favorite thing out of the whole entire entree but I love the berry shortcake for dessert that is so amazing I think it was my mom and sister's favorite thing too when we ate here last time and here it is look at that doesn't that look so amazing I love this it is so delicious it's nice like uh, strawberry shortcake but with all different berries and then top of whipped cream and then when they bring out the dessert they also bring out a little autograph card garden grill restaurant look at that Mickey Chippendale Pluto everybody the gang's all here but we're gonna dive right on in and you can always ask for extra compo if you want me I think I'm okay look at that ah oh, this is so good all the berries berries and cream berries and cream Berries and cream, berries and cream. <laughs> Here comes Pluto again. Yeah, I made it to dessert. Yep, the good stuff. I know, it's much too good. I see you, I see you signed this for me, thank you. Thanks a lot, pal. Yeah, it's very good. Very nice, Pluto. And I like how you made a little uh, Mickey kind of with like, or is that a paw, that's your paw. Oh, I thought it was a Mickey for a second, but now it makes total sense. I love it. You put a little Pluto as your paw. I love it. That is so clever. Well, thank you, Pluto. <laughs> I could eat so much. I love this. It is that good. Like, when I tell you something is good, I'm telling you, this is that good. And to finish up, after having some delicious shortcake berries and cream, I got myself a cup of coffee, and this is including your price. Anytime the soft drinks are including the price I usually always get a coffee afterwards because it's like something I would probably get afterwards you know what I mean it just adds to the value you like you want to get the most out of what you're paying for and you can get other soft drinks too so like I said I had an Arnold Palmer and I'm gonna finish up a nice little cup of coffee because I would have bought one anyway I always have coffee after dinner so cheers oh it's hot Ooh. there he is back around again hiya pal very good. I, I kind of got a shirt that matches yours a little bit. Yeah, like it doesn't it look it looks the same kind of. I was going for that. I dressed to impress you. <laughs> oh, very cool. Thank you. Thanks for the great food. Now I am full. I enjoyed my coffee and I just sat there and kind of enjoyed the ambience for a little bit. It was great to see Chippendale. I love Garden Grill. I think it's a really cool dining experience. It's $55. That's the price for most character dinings. And you do use your annual pass discount and probably DVC. And I just love it. Like I said, it's a little bit different because you get to see Chippendale. They have different food items and plus a little bit of a history with the attraction and being able to eat the, the food from there and plus it rotates so like I see it like a little bit better than a lot of the other character dinings you know what I mean it's still pretty amazing I would rank it up there with like chef Mickey's you know what I mean like character dining has been kind of rough right now especially with the, all the phase reopenings you know what I mean it's definitely better than Hollywood and Vine I can tell you that Hollywood and Vine probably at my the, the bottom of my list but Garden Girls I think I like it since we're done with dinner, I figured we'd just come back out and enjoy Epcot for a little bit longer. Like I said, it's a beautiful day and we don't want to waste it by going home and doing nothing. Enjoy the day. Seize the day. Carpe diem. 
maybe we'll head over to test track and check out the single rider line you can always go for a ride on test track i love it and also i wanted to check out the new uh guest services building they actually opened it back up it was closed just for a couple of weeks but kind of want to see what it looks like on the inside there but before we do that can we just stop and appreciate these cute little baby ducks oh my lord they are precious i'm not going to give them any food but i think they think i'm going to give them food look at that i love ducks oh here comes a couple more oh that is too good I cannot wait until all the walls are down here at Epcot so we don't have to walk around everywhere. We can just cut through soon, hopefully. I'm actually forgetting what it's like to actually go and cut through our uh, future world. Well, not future world, world discovery. Because you used to be able to just come out here and then walk straight through. So if we wanted to go to guest services, we could just walk straight through. Now we have to walk either this way or behind us and go like around. I totally forget sometimes that it's not called Future World anymore. It's split up between World Discovery, World Nature, and World Celebration. Oh, and then of course World Showcase. And it's so hard to not say Future World. And it takes a lot for me to remember those names too because for the longest time I think I, I couldn't remember them at all. But now I'm getting used to it. Let's take a look at some of the wait times. World Celebration has Spaceship Earth temporarily closed. And then Journey into Imagination is only a five minute wait. Test Track over in World Discovery is 45 minutes. Mission Space, 10 minutes. Frozen Ever After is 70 minutes. Soarin' is only 30 minutes. It's actually a relatively like, slow day today. And here is the new guest relations building. They moved it to the front of the park temporarily so they can redesign it in there. I mean, it's in the same location, but they just did uh, like a little upkeep on the inside. Added a little more of the new Epcot look to it. And it looks amazing. I've seen pictures already and I like it. It just looks kind of simple and I like that. Got the nice Epcot logo. I wonder what's up there. Is that like a VIP lounge? Because I know that they had like the VIP spot that was over here. It used to say VIP on here, but maybe it's up there now. I mean, that'd be pretty cool to just stand up there and kind of stare out and I like it. I mean, it kind of is just what it is. It's not like shocking news, but I mean, I do like it. I like the simplicity of it. Just Epcot, the logo, and the uh, updated look to it. Just kind of clean. Let's make our way over to Test Track. Like I said, if the wait time or the standby wait time was that low, then the single rider line's got to be just a walk-on at this point. The last time I rode Test Track, the standby was a 60 minute wait and I literally walked all the way up the single rider line, did not stop and just went right to a car. So fingers crossed it might happen today too. But we have to stop and appreciate the monorail here. Seriously, every time I see a monorail go by at the right time, I always rush to pull out my camera or my cell phone and sometimes I miss it, but I got it today. It says 55 minutes, so we're gonna try the single rider line. This is the lightning lane right here. Okay. All right, I like this. Very good, very good. Well, at least we know it was faster than the lightning lane. Oh, no line here. Wow. This is, okay, it's happening. We're gonna walk right on again now. Yeah, there's not anybody in line, I don't think. Well nice. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I love this so much. Hey, how long did you wait for test track? Oh, I don't know, maybe two minutes? Seriously, a two minute wait. That's exactly how long it took. And that's just from standing here waiting to get in the car. Buckle up and don't bang your elbows on these little uh, rails right here. Like it would hurt if I smacked my elbow off there. You really gotta keep them in tight. Best remove them. Star. Sim car performance data acquired. 
I love that. I love the fact that I just got to walk over here and just ride test track without waiting. That is so amazing. And I cannot wait until Guardians of the Galaxy opens up to everybody. Like I said, I rode it the other day. I really do love that ride. And speaking of like rides and Epcot, it is gonna like relieve so much long lines here. Like think about it. We are gonna have Guardians of the Galaxy, Test Track, Soren, Frozen, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, all in one park. Those are some e-ticket attractions. That's five of them. Five e-ticket attractions in Epcot. And not even to mention Mission Space, Journey into Imagination, uh, the Three Caballeros. Like, that's really mind-blowing right now. Oh, and then take a look at this. You found me. What did I find here? Keep me or leave me for someone else to find. Please post this Facebook's universally crafted Walt Disney World page, the Nolan family. That is so awesome. I love it. It's, oh, it's a, a Raya figure from McDonald's. So cool. You know what, I'm gonna leave it for somebody else though. I'm gonna keep it up here though, so it's a little bit in eyes because I found it down there. But I'm gonna leave it for somebody else, but that is so awesome. I love it. Isn't it so cool when you come across little things like that? I found like wands and like Universal Studios, rocks. It's really nice. I actually want to go do stuff. Just leave things around for people. I used to leave fast passes, like paper fast passes. I used to actually leave them around for people to pick up. Maybe I'll do that again. Maybe come up with something because I think it's so fun. It adds to the experience of coming to Walt Disney World. Making magic, whether you're a cast member or just a guest, is always just fun. And receiving it is also just as fun. And that goes for the same thing as if it's a cast member or if it's just a guest. It's just, it's, it's, it really makes like Disney memories. I came up on the splash pad here. It doesn't look like it's uh, working right now, but I can hear the water running under there. And I've always wanted to just sit down right in the center of it. You know, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Just sit down, you're, you're gonna get wet anyway. And I was thinking about doing it today, actually. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go home in a second. I'm gonna change my clothes, sit down and edit, play with Gracie, so why not? <laughs> hang out on the splash pad but I guess I'll have to come back and do it one day I mean maybe I mean, it is a commitment though you know what I'll tell you what if, if this video gets 5,000 likes then I'll come back and do it the next time I'm at Epcot at the end of the day I'll just go sit there and become a soggy bottom boy and with that I think we are done here today a glorious day at Epcot got to come out enjoy the nice weather have a delicious character dining with Chippendale and I'm so happy that I got to meet Chippendale I really did love Rescue Rangers I loved all the different references and Easter eggs I thought it was really fun and it was like who framed Roger Rabbit I don't want to spoil anything but if you haven't seen it check it out you know what I mean especially if you like Chippendale and Rescue Rangers or if you like who framed Roger Rabbit and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video on I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye every time I walk past these like little planters here I always think man that would be a great thing to crack your back on so I think I'm gonna try to do it and hopefully nobody comes over and sees me doing it so I don't look like embarrassing but yeah I want to crack my back on that
back of my back. <laughs>